Exactly a year ago, on the 20th of October 2020, some ensas protesters that demanded the scrubbing of the neutral sacks unit were shot at Lekki Togate. The incident ended badly and lives and properties were lost. Today, many Nigerian youth took to the streets to stage peaceful protest in remembrance of protesters who were shot at Lekki Togate. The protests were held in Abuja and Lagos. The former presidential candidate Adamu Garaba was at the venue of the Ensa's memorial procession in Abuja, but decided to leave the venue after he was no longer comfortable, according to him. Adamu Garaba, who may fret, was against the Ensa's protest through his Facebook handle, explained why he decided to leave the venue, even though he was in support of the protest. According to him, he left the venue of the protest because Showari personalized the protest. He said they diverted from the goal and started posting banners of Buhari Mertko. To him, it was a waste of time, pathetic, and he felt that it was shameful to think that a sitting president should go in a democratic era. In his words, he said, I was at Ensar's memorial procession in Abuja, and I can tell you that Shoare has personalized the protest here. A waste of time. Buhari must go agenda banners were all over the place. This is pathetic and shameful to think a sitting president should go in a democracy. Meanwhile, the protest later changed from peaceful to violent and the men of the Nigerian police had to use tear gas to dispel the crowd. And so many Nigerians have reacted to this. Someone said, why should you ask Buhari to go? Go where? What has he done wrong? He is a good man. He is a father. What impact has Shawari made to help the youth? He is a shedding. What are the lessons they are learning from him? What are, what have they gained personally? This is rubbish. Hmm. Okay, someone said, may thunder from God fire you. Honestly, I don't think this person is in Nigeria or the person who lives in Nigeria. Because if you can say this, that means we have a long way to go. Meaning that we are our own problem. Because you cannot see all these happenings and saying that what Buhari is doing is good or what the government is doing is good. Okay, let's forget about what is happening right now. What happened at Lekki Togate? The world saw what happened. Everybody saw what happened. Though the Nigerian Hamiti today are still denying it. You can also see so many persons with gunshots, scars and all that coming out, you know, on social media to testify how God saved them during that, you know, uh, uh, NSAS protest at that Lekki Togate. But the, today, Nigerian government is still denying it. All right, someone said, please, what impact have we gotten from your president? Mention them. I want to know. Adamu was an agent of this regime and can never be comfortable with protests against it. It's like inviting Lam Mohammed or Garabashiu to support Ensa's protests. You are an agent of PDP who hide under Ensa's to ask President Muhammad Buhari to, to go Shame on you. You will finish he will finish his tenor and present his successor and you can't do anything. These are Nigerians talking and they are still talking. Someone said only your name shows that you are useless. Okay. The organizers and the participants of the protests are very useless and senseless. There are better things to protest about, not SARS police and SARS are not the problem of this country. Why not protest against high price of food items, high price of cooking gas, high price of fuel, to mention but a few? Why not mandate the government to stop devaluing the Naira? They are just confused and stupid. These are the things that affected the common man and everyone in the country has come, everyone in the country, how can they come out and say Buhari must go? 
Is that possible? They should be specific. Someone just said that, Mr. Speaker. Telling Buhari to go is equal to telling bad governance to go. Telling governance to go is equal to telling all you mentioned above from high prices of commodities to all other evils brought by Buhari administration to go. Calling the organizers and participants useless and useless is, is unfortunate. You don't seem to understand what I am saying. You and I know that it is an import it is impossibility for a sitting president to resign. Okay? In this country. So why wasting time and risking lives on Buari must go? Why not specify on the protest must the protests at least? The government be forced to reduce the prices of things, including VAT, especially. <laughs> These are Nigerians talking on. Before Uncle Buhari must go, is that not the main reason your Zoom government deployed police as if a war is going to happen just for a memorial protest? Buhari must go. Jobless youth, did we have any protests on sitting incumbent president or governor in Nigeria or Africa? They better go and engage themselves. If you know they fear to die, why you not go join them? Protests, what thing would be the end result of the protest? Mumu wasted generations. Hmm. You must, you just want, went there to sabotage it, but realize how serious the youth are. It leaves you with no choice. You never supported it before. You claim it was staged by Nadekano to destabilize Nigeria. Now it's Oshawari. You are an idiot, he said. There is hardly any peaceful protest. That is why government always caution against any protest in the first place. We always argue that it is our right. Yes, but at the end, you will see so many things happen, he said. There are so many reactions here from Nigerians arguing, attacking themselves about the protests, why Buhari must go, and all that, and all that. So guys, you've all heard it now. Let's hear from you. What's your take? Kindly drop your view below the comment section. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much.